Turning to that developing story now out of Washington County, the FBI arrested a Tawny Town man on felony charges related to the January 6th riot at the Capitol. According to United States Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia, 45-year-old David Camden was arrested in Fayetteville yesterday. Five News reporter Rachel Williams spoke to an expert on how this case compares to other January 6th. The Supreme Court recently ruled in the Fisher versus United States case that the Justice Department overstepped when charging January 6th Capitol breach suspects with obstruction of an official proceeding. Richard Big O Barnett is the only January 6th suspect from Arkansas convicted under that obstruction charge. Since the ruling, Barnett has asked judges to grant him release pending the outcome of his appeal. I spoke with Dr. Farrell Hansen, a political science professor at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. He says when you compare the Fisher and Camden cases, they're different. This case is not along those lines. It's a pretty cut and dry uh, felony charge of assaulting an officer with uh, that bike rack and uh, then the misdemeanor charges. Uh, there's nothing related to uh, what the court ruled in the Fisher case, which was setting a higher standard to prove obstruction of uh, government uh, doing government business. Camden is also facing multiple misdemeanor charges ranging from entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds to acts of physical violence on Capitol grounds or buildings. Since 2021, over 1,400 people have been charged across the U.S. in connection to the riot. It's uh, pretty similar to the cases in which uh, you've already had hundred, hundreds of trials and, and convictions uh, of the uh, based on the January 6th from the January 6th uh, insurrection attempt. For now, Camden has been released on a $5,000 bond. He's scheduled to appear via Zoom before the D.C. District Court on July 11th. Covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.